Okay. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Oh, I'm screaming. Uh, we are echoing in here. It's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. This is one of my favorite shows of the year. This is when me and my dear, dear close friend, Wendy Stewart, share our word for the year. And I know I didn't do any prep and I didn't promote, but you guys can catch it uh, on the reruns, as us old folks said. Uh, every year we share the word that came to us that we're thinking about for the year. That's kind of our word for the year. Uh, and we'll share what we were last year. Yes. So welcome, Wendy. How's thank it going? You, I'm so excited. You. We were able to pull this off. I can't I believe it. Last minute. We are at the beautiful Gal Mills at Gallery. Mills Gallery yes. at the Park. I love it. Something like that. Uh, Boris Garbe is the gallerist here. And so Citrus Club is closed. And Boris was kind enough to open up his spot, it's by the way. It's beautiful. It's and so if, you beautiful. Need a, if you need a venue, give me a shout because Boris will hook you up. Uh, so for those people who don't know, tell them a little bit about you and then we'll start talking about it. Okay, I'm Wendy Stewart, managing broker with the Property Pros. I've been real estate for almost 10 years now. Um, I'm very blessed, I will say, to do uh, what I love and have amazing, amazing um, clients and families that I get to serve each and every day. So that's a little bit about me. Tell us about you. Oh, Ted Bogert. <laughs> you all don't know me. Uh, let me explain. No, I'm Ted Bogert. You guys know me. Uh, I'm super blessed. 2023, I think, was a challenging year. I'm not I'm not sad to see 2024 coming. I'm actually really excited. Uh, but 2023, I think, was a challenge. But um, my let's share our words. Our, my word started out to be prosper last year. And then my prayers led me to ask. So those were sort of ask became my number one word asking for things. I'm really super bad at that, actually. And I Very did bad. a lot of uh, improvement, <laughs> not perfect, still have a lot to go. But I was very blessed in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of ways, uh, family, friends, it's just been a 2023. I, I'm happy to see 2024. But I'm not sad to see 2023 go. How about you? Okay, so for me, I use the same word I had in 2022. My word in 2022 is breakthrough. Love that. And I feel like in 2022, I got the break, but not the through. Oh, I got the break, but not the through. Yes. So I That's took, so good. <laughs> yes, so I took, I, I took it again. I repurposed it for 2023 because I needed the through. I think I needed the action. I needed the rest of it. I needed you know, the rest of what God was working out in my life. And, and he sure did. And it was a challenging year, but it was a very, for me, a very blessed year in many, many ways. And um, a year that I think I needed, I needed to be humbled in many, many, many ways to get the through. Yes. And I learned a lot of great, great lessons um, in life. Not Isn't that amazing? Because yeah. I think um, one of the things we talk about on the show a lot, and I just did a post on it, you have to subtract to attract. You have I love to, when you did that. You just you have to um, get rid of the things that are not for you so that the things that are for you can come through. They can come through, like Wendy yes. said. So you can have the break, but not the through. And I think yeah. a lot of times we're our own worst enemy when it comes to that. Yeah. Um, we hang on to people, especially um, people just for whatever reason, Wendy and I are both the same. We want to fix you, want to fi figure out how to make it work. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you're in, but we want to fix people. We want to help them. And in doing so, sometimes, a lot of times for me, you get blocked uh, on the things that you're supposed to be receiving. And so it's, it's interesting to me that you brought that up. You had the break, but not the through. And that's perfect. And that's sort of like I've always, for me, with the prosper and ask, I, I, I knew prosper was somewhere in there, but I just kept feeling that's not the right word. That's not it. And then it just came to me that I needed to ask and ask. Yeah, because everybody had been telling you. <laughs> and, you know, like a normal human being, of course, I did not listen to a word anyone said. Uh, and ask meant about business, but it really meant about um, asking permission for things and, and giving permission for things and asking for the things that I believed that I should be receiving. And so it, but it was a lesson because I'm just not used to that. I'm used to being very passive about things. And so 2023 was an up and down for that. I went through a great period in the beginning where I asked and asked and asked and then got sidetracked. And so I kind of have been finishing 2023 uh, continuing to ask, but I think you you figure out what your word is, and then the universe, God, and our 
particular yeah. situation kind of meets you there and helps you kind of refine it and retune in it. In his own go. timing, because like I said, 2022, my word was breakthrough and I was like, come on, come on. There's got, there's, I felt like I was making breaks and big breaks, but I wasn't still didn't have the joy in my life that I wanted. You can be to be happy is one thing, but to have joy completely different is so different. Yes. And I think I've had an experience happiness for a long time, but now I have, a joy in my soul and in every aspect of my life, even though it has been a tough year for me. So, um, but I've found a lot of good in the pain and a lot of, um, you know, a lot of joy in the pain too. So agreed. I think you can uh, find joy in the pain. One of the things about joy is it is not, it shouldn't be dependent on what your circumstances are. That's, That's happy. It. Happy is circumstances related. Joy you have uh, in some way, shape or form all the time. Yeah. One of the things, like this was a challenging year for me as far as, oh, God, I gotta be so careful because we're alive. Um, <laughs> just challenging in the uh, business side of things. And I think that uh, there are, I've learned that there are different kinds of currencies that for me, God provides that aren't necessarily financial, but because uh, you never know where he's going. Yeah. And you never know what he's going to provide for you. But I believed and have asked for him to provide. And so he provided in ways that maybe I didn't think he'd provide. Mm -hmm. But he's done a fantastic job as yeah, always. Always, always. Yeah, he meets. <laughs> and that, that's a that's that's a blessing. And whatever your beliefs are, if you're in a I, oh, I like yeah. law of attraction too. It's yeah, it's all the same thing. And manifesting, yeah. manifesting, manifesting. Mm -hmm. Um, and you had any tell me the little story. I'm gonna put you on the spot, but um you were done with dudes. <laughs> well, I was so done with dudes. Um, so funny enough, in uh, in February, I was I was you know on the dating apps talking to people, and this guy I'd been chatting with, um, <laughs> chatting with, never met. Right? He um, asked me on a date on a Friday. I think I was with you. I remember that this. day. Yeah. And, I, and I left early. I was like, I'm so excited. You know, I've been talking to this guy for weeks. So, so excited to meet. Um, I went home, I got ready and dude cancels. He cancels our date. Yep. And I cried over this guy I'd never met. I cried for four hours. I'll never forget it in my living room. And I just, at that point, I, I don't think I've ever felt like this. And I got on my hands and knees and I said, God, I'm done. I'm done seeking. I'm done. I don't know. I'm just done. Like I'm crying over this guy. I've never met on a stew on Bumble or whatever it was. I don't even know. Um, and I said, I, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I said, God, I'm giving this to you. I've, I've been divorced for 20 years. I don't, I want to date with purpose. I want my, I've always wanted to be married. My intention, I believe in marriage. I really do. Um, I have a daughter. I, I bring her up on those principles of being married and uh, I don't just want to date around. And I said, God, unless, you send a man to my door. <laughs> I'm not looking anymore. I've had enough. In your hands. And sure enough, uh, 26 days later, I met my fiance on a total whim. You know, he was somewhere he'd never been. I was somewhere I was always at. And we met outside in passing. And we've been inseparable since. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. <laughs> when in my opinion god brings the person to you Crazy. this is it and there's that immediate connection and he's it, i mean he's just the sweetest he's biggest the, teddy bear yeah, he's a big kind-hearted yeah, hard-working hard too so ladies if you put you put your stuff you know whatever you want don't settle you don't settle i was settling. And did you give him two too when you met him oh, like, did yeah. you sit down that and, was, it was nick Oh, it was Nick. I yes. thought I thought you gave him attitude. Too. No, it wasn't me. It was the gay best friend gave him such attitude. So yeah, it was, and it was one of those things that when we met, it was like, there you are. Yeah. How's it? There you right. are. So. But you, ha I feel like we, you know, sometimes again because we blockade ourselves with people, um, with people. You, and you and I both and, and, careers and yeah. people. We've had to subtract get rid of um and it's on it's it's i guess it's not unfortunate it's a fortunate thing but it takes strength and it takes a lot to do it because as people who want to fix everything for people mm -hmm. um we tend to uh, overstay our welcome for sure 
Uh, all right, so let's talk about 2024. We don't know each other's words, by the way. No, we always do um, this. So I'm excited to hear your word because I know you pray over it like I do. Yes. And I know, oh, hey, Lily. Hi, Lily. Oh, I, feel oh, I love yeah. her. Yes. Yep. Done with the dating apps. Yes, good for I you. Did it. Good for you. Yep. Um, so we don't share, but we, have, we put a lot of thought and prayer into it because we want this to be a word that shapes our 2024 helps shape it yeah. uh, and that we can refer back to and that we can think about and think on and pray on. So um, ladies first, first. Oh, of course, always ladies spot. first. Okay. So my word drum roll is reset. Reset. I love it. Why reset? reset? Where did reset come from? Um, From our heavenly father. I don't know. Like it came to me actually in September. It came to me in September and I wasn't praying over it. It's just something I kept seeing, kind of. Uh, I saw it in a commercial. I'd see it on Facebook, and I just kept seeing it. And I was like, that's a great word because um, there are things in my life that I need to reset. Um, not just like my uh, my business needed a reset yes. and my relationships needed a reset. My life, uh, I became an empty nester this year. Which you did. Was really weird. That needed to reset. So every, I, I needed a reset in a good cleansing positive way and um i'm excited i'm excited to reset and see where it goes for 2024 this is this is such a great word because i feel like a lot of people are trying to figure out what to do different in 2024 so a reset kind of um gets encompasses all of it because it can be a relationship like you said or business but i think a reset is good for all of us a lot of times we want to reset we don't know how or we only reset part of our life and then the other part isn't reset. So you're back to kind of square one, mm -hmm. no matter what you're doing. Um, and I love that you, it also takes a lot of um, reflection to understand that you need to reset because a lot of people just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome, which you know is the definition of insanity. Uh, we all, we've all been there. Yeah. We all keep accepting the same things and doing the same things and hoping for the best, praying for the best. But a true reset is detoxifying. A true reset. I'm so excited. And um, it's just, it, you know, I'm just, it's it's many, it's a reset of many things. And creating um, reset for me also means creating new boundaries. Oh, talk about boundaries. <laughs> you just, know, I love boundaries. <laughs> I'm terrible at it, but I love I boundaries. I know. Why do you love your No, I love it. I love the thought of it. I just am not good at it. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we need, um, I, for me, I'm, uh, this is so different for me, this, you know, being engaged and, um, the kids being gone, but I also have a bonus child who's nine now. So it makes me stop and like do homework and do things. And it's a little different. Smell yes. the roses in a different way. So, um, it's resetting. It's like, I want to be home at a certain time, mm -hmm. you know, I want to, my weekends are dedicated to, to family things now and resetting in that way. And, you know, at first you think like, how am I going to do this? How is this going to work into my life and my business? And um, my priorities have changed. Maybe my business is not my number one thing anymore. My family is my number one thing, which it always should have been. But to be quite honest, it just wasn't right. because I was a single parent. I need, I had goals and I, I had to complete goals and tasks in order to get my kids and my family to the next level. Well, now they're there. Mama needs to reset. It's all That's different correct. now. Mama new, does. new goals and new boundaries and new things. So I think boundaries will help with the reset. I, I just, yes, I feel like a lot of times we choose a word like in general, or we choose a theme or we're trying to accomplish something, but we don't reset our boundaries. And because we don't reset our boundaries, we're still including the same people in there who are, Again, remember, they're, just because they're in a circle doesn't mean that they're in your corner. It doesn't mean they're for you. They're not for you. Not everyone and you have to pay attention you. who's who's in the boat with you and which way they're rowing. It's very eye-opening. Um, what I've learned over time on the reset part is that I'm able to reset sooner and not allow something that is not for me to go longer than it should. Mm. Um, so I've had a lot of change this year because of that. Uh, but in the past, I would let that thing like it was like a cancer, man. I would just be fighting that for years and years and years and just hanging out for a dear thread, hoping that the person would 
um, mm -hmm. would understand it, or I could change them, or I could change the scenario. I could do something different when all along I wasn't supposed to be in that relationship. I wasn't supposed to be at that company. I wasn't supposed to be with that group of people. Um, and so it's not my job to fix those people. So the okay. reset is so good and the boundaries are so good. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Reset's a great word. Well, let's hear your word. Okay. So I, I'm really, excited. my word, my word is so interesting because I fought it. It came to me right away. And I said, that's too easy. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I was playing with a lot of other ones and, you know, I'm a prayer guy. So it kept coming back to me and I'm, and finally, again, I'm a God person. So God said, basically, dude, when you ask, what are you going to get? So oh. receive is my word oh, for 2024 yes. and yes. receive on so many levels because I did all the asking. Mm -hmm. um, and now I, I've done all the planting of the seeds. I've built all the relationships. I've built the infrastructure. I've built all of this stuff, obviously, with my friends and my family and God yeah. at the helm. Um, now it's time to receive. And yes. so receive for me means it's time to abundance. Yes, abundance. Al. Uh, my Thank you, Lily. And I'll post these. I'm sorry. I'm doing a terrible job right now. <laughs> um, but receive just came to me so strong and kept coming to me. And finally, after I prayed over it, I'm like, all right. So basically what you're saying after the third time of hitting me over the head or 50th time is that I've asked for all this. Now it's time for you to reap your benefits to to um, enjoy the gifts that I want to give you. Uh, you've broken down the boundaries, you've reset, you've done all of this, you've asked. Now it's time for you to receive. As somebody who's not used to that, a huge challenge. And it's not that I'm not blessed, I don't mean it that way, but like somebody who's used to just being, give this, give that, um, not asking to, to accept that word, I think was just a huge fight internally for me, soulfully and spiritually. And so, um, that is my word. I intend to use 2024 to receive whatever that looks like. Yeah. I believe it's good and blessings. I and I believe that it's uh, on many different levels, receive health, receive yeah. good health, receive uh, continued great relationships Healthy with relationships. friends and family. Yes. Uh, receive business, receive whatever it is receive that good energy and everything. Yes. So yes. I want to, so that. receive is yeah. my 2024 I word. I love that. And so I'm very, very excited about and that you're word. right. It's a very, like, of course, if you ask. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? You don't understand. So I kept going to that scripture because I ask is in that scripture. Ask and you shall receive. receive. There's a whole bunch more in there. Uh, but I kept going to it, looking for the word. And I kept and skipping kept over. Laughing you in the face. And I kept going, right? hello, come back to this. We still haven't finished this yeah. verse or this scripture. There's another part of it after you ask, mm -hmm. there's another action. You may not be doing it, but you're allowing it. And so to allow myself to receive uh, whatever additional blessings that God's going to give me, that's my 2024. I word. love that because when you, I know you're, you're such a blessing to so many people. And when you're blessed, you just, it, you know, it's to bless others. So um, the ask. I know you worked really hard on that this year. I did. Struggled. <laughs> out of your comfort zone it's to ask. so out of my comfort um, zone. Primarily, you know, for me, with you as my friend, I was like, you need to start. You do so much for so many people. You're not asking for business. We'd like beat you on the head with you it. You did. Um, and it was it was hard for you to do that. It, it really, <laughs> it was. And I think it is for a lot of people, right? Because we're- No. You, no, it's no. not. <laughs> oh, so no. it's just me? <laughs> it's just you. Um, most people in your shoes would be like, you know, I've done this and this and that for you. Some people have it. That's Very a gift few. of theirs. Like the gift of theirs to ask. I have, I know I have to be better at it. Um, Stacy is always on me, has been for years uh, on me about it. And I'm, I've always gone with the thought process that because my life has been up and down, but always blessed. Mm -hmm. Again, talking about the currency that the um, monetary currency uh, God has always figured out a way to take care of me and us. Um, but I've gotten a lot of other things. I got a strong message this year that I was going to receive the fruits of my labor and I was going to receive the benefits of having the relationships that I have in a way that I could. And a, another strong part of it was you're going to receive so that you can give Ted and that give more. So, and you do. And 
Exactly. So it's um, <laughs> you've given from places where you really, you know, I'm not talking about monetarily or, you know, but like you've given from places where you've been, I've seen you in, you know, unique situations and you're still, well, let's do this and let's do that. And even if it's been out of your own pocket, I've seen you do that. So um, I'm happy. I'm front row seating this to watch you receive yes. after asking and and so you reap what you sow. You do. It's you in do. the book. It so is. And it was know. right there in the next sentence of the verse that I yes. used all of last yes, year. Yes, I know the verse. So, that's <laughs> what, so you, you're, it's time. It's your season. It's, it's your season. That's correct. It's my season. And I think it's, yes. it's like reset is also a season. This is a time to make the changes to, um, to, to, figure out who's with you and who isn't and yeah. and really let go of the people who aren't which is hard for me i it's it's a struggle for me to let go of people and um, i think what's powerful is in your relationship with chad now that you realize what that happiness and that joy is mm -hmm. and that somebody actually is treating you the way that you should be treated go figure. then you it empowers you right you're like okay i don't have to put up the rest of this shit. yes i don't have to I've got, I've got a fantastic relationship. Now I know what a relationship is supposed to be like. I don't have to put up with the rest of your crap. And yeah. that can be on business, personal friendships, other relationships. It doesn't matter just in general. So yes, it affects everything. It truly does. Because like I said, now my priority is to be home and I love what I do, but I, I love my family time. I love being home. I love, you know, I enjoy my kids aren't there. So if they call me for a dinner, I'm going to drop everything. I, you know, I love, I love my people, but if my kids say, Hey mom, we've got an hour for dinner. I'm canceling everything. Correct. I'm canceling everything. There's just no amount of money that could make it worth it to me. A dinner with my kids is priceless. Correct. And you have beautiful kids. Thank Absolutely. you. Well, you know, Madison. <laughs> we love you, Maddie. Oh God. She's my friend on Facebook. Don't do that. <laughs> no, but I think that's true. I think, um, you have to find what's important and then you have to focus on that yeah. and a oh, reset. I know. Hi, Kelly. I, know. Hi, Kelly. Kelly. I, I love, love Kelly. I do too. I love, love, love her. She's a real deal. All right. So number one goal for 2024 is to reset. My number one goal is to reset. Everything around that. Every Everything around that. Every single thing and, and choose my people for the year. And it doesn't mean like, you know, if there's people we're going to let go of and we're not going to be mean about it. But Correct. It's, if I'm snubbing you, it's, it's, it's just because you're not for me and you know it, you know it too. That's so. the funny part is <laughs> most, most people, except some of our narcissistic friends don't know it, but the majority of people who are not narcissistic, um, get it. They yeah. already know in their hearts, um, that that is, we're not supposed to be in a relationship and 99% of the time they're getting more out of the relationship than you are. Uh, which is a big challenge. Uh, all right. So 2024, we have reset and, and receive. receive. And that is what we are going to be looking for and hold us to it. Hold us accountable. Um, and drop your words. We drop your, your words. words. Yes. So drop your it. words. Put your words in. Lily said her word is redesigned, I believe. I and I love that word. Al, Al said abundance. I love abundance. Mm -hmm. You know, anything that you can be positive um i think it you, you attract it so get rid of some of that stuff that you know is not for you mm -hmm. and make 2024 your year of um reaping the benefits and doing the things that you know you need to be doing and working with the people you know you need to be working with and having relationships with people that you know you should be having relationships yeah. with all right uh merry christmas, merry christmas happy guys. new year happy holidays we love you guys so much Love you to pieces. Love Appreciate you. you so much. Wendy's information is scrolling across the bottom, and so and is Ted, mine. He he still does loans, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Dan Morales is he, gonna love you for that. He's ready to receive. Look, I'm ready to receive your, ready loans. To receive your loans. Oh Ben, Merry Christmas. Yes. I'm ready to receive your loans. OrlandoMortgageMaker.com. You okay. shout out to uh, Dan Morales for. Um, yes, I have a whole is. appreciation for him for understanding the craziness that is Ted Bogert and accepting guess, yeah. it and figuring it out. All right. We love you guys so much. Have a blessed holiday Bye. and we'll see you back in 2024. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.